you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says calculate the number of moles present in 4g this g here simply means grams all right so present in four grams of galena all right this question is extremely very easy before we go ahead to solve any question in chemistry it is very important for us to understand the topic to which this question is from and from the look of things this question is on a very important aspect in chemistry called the mole concept all right i'm going to tell you the reason why i said that listen very well this question is on a very key aspect in chemistry called mole concept why because in the course of solving this question they are asking us to determine the number of moles present in four grams of this compound this is not somebody's name this is a compound and i'll be explaining what this means so pay close attention to the way we'll be solving this question now there's something i have to tell you that is very very vital this question is asking us to determine the number of moles and i just told you that since this question is asking us to determine number of moles that means this question is on this aspect called the mole concept and mole concept as a concept in chemistry is on a broader aspect which is called stoichiometry please listen very well so more concept is under a very key topic in chemistry a key aspect in chemistry called stoichiometry now before i progress i already have a well detailed video that explains everything you have to know about stoichiometry from the aspect of more concepts for all types of calculations under this topic including this question if you have watched that video there is no way you will not be able to solve this question that is why i am directing you to go and watch that lesson on stoichiometry just type on your search bar stoichiometry by nos bright then get access to that video ensure you watch that video from the beginning to the end because if you come back to this question this question will be a piece of cake it is very very easy now let's get into solving this question on the board and the question says calculate the number of moles now in chemistry number of moles is symbolized as n please listen number of moles is symbolized as what n and in this video lesson i explained all the formulas for number of moles which is n number of moles which is n has five basic formulas and i talked about those formulas in the course of this lesson and we solved so many practice questions so many ensure you go watch that lesson moving further in the course of solving this question or using just one out of those formulas i gave in this video lesson so go and watch this lesson to learn other formulas now i will tell you the formula to use to solve this question now the way i'm going to tell you the formula to solve this question is based on what i am seeing that is why this aspect of chemistry stoichiometry is extremely very easy they are not hard at all now let's read the question again it says calculate the number of moles present in four grams wow me seeing four grams what does this mean anything that is gram in science that means mass are you there so me seeing four grams i didn't know that oh four grams is actually mass of galena now galena is actually a compound it is not somebody's name galena is a compound but specifically galena is an all wow are you not seeing what i just said galena is an all what is an all alls they are minerals all what do they call all now they are what minerals to which metals 
can be extracted. Are you there? There are minerals to which what metals can be extracted for useful purposes. So listen very well. Now, if you don't know this, knowing from today, galena basically is an oil, is a mineral for a particular metal. And before I go tell you the metal, let me write out the chemical formula of galena, which is an oil, which is a mineral. Now, galena chemical formula is P. B S. Wow. P B is lead and S is sulfur. And lead is the metal. So galena being an oil or a mineral is basically a mineral to which this metal can be extracted. Do you understand? We want to extract on the topic metals now. Metals, non-metals, metals specifically. So you can actually extract extract this lead from so in the course of this question we are trying to calculate the number of moles present in four grams of galena they are all very easy relax and relax very well i'll be telling you the formula to use to solve this question but i just told you now that okay if they ask you what is the all for lead as an element remember lead is an element and lead is symbolized as pb so they can ask you what's the all what's the mineral for the metal lead was it you simply tell them galena galena is one of the major all the major mineral to which lead can be extracted though there are other ores there are other minerals to which you can actually extract lead they include um anglesite there's another called anglesite now that is also an all for lead are you there there's another called seru sites all right this is another oil for lead are you there but this uh, oil or minerals they have their respective chemical formula for this anglicite it is its chemical formula is pbso4 iopactly it should be pronounced as lead sulfate or lead tetraoxosulfate 6 relax this one that is cerusite its chemical formula is pb all right, PB CO3. This is lead carbonate. Please pay close attention. All these things are not hard. But in the course of this question, they're asking us to calculate the number of most present in four grams of galena. Now, listen, which formula? That's why I explain everything in this, in this topic. All right, I give all the five formulas when to solve you as uh, use them to solve questions. So, in the course of this question, they said we should calculate the number of moles of lead present in 4 grams of galena. So which formula relates number of moles mass? In summary, which formula for number of moles has mass in it, has a mass? The formula is simply number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. This is the formula for number of moles that has mass in it. Are you following me? This is the formula. Are you there? So in the course of this question, we're looking for the number of moles, which is N, right? We are given the mass of the compound galena, this galena, right? And what is the mass? 4 grams. So up here for mass, I'm going to write 4 grams. Are you following me? So then what happens? Divided by what's the molar mass of the PBS, which is galena. We have to solve it together. All right, so we'll come here. PBS, how do we calculate molar mass? Very easy. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen. To calculate molar mass of a compound, you that's why you should watch that video. You have to add the atomic masses of the element involved. All right, the elements involved are lead and sulfur. Now, in most questions will be given, lead atomic mass is 207, whereby sulfur atomic mass is 32. So what we have to do in this case is to add the atomic masses. So for lead, here we become 207. For instance, this lead was carrying 2 down, 3 down, 1 million down. We times this atomic mass with that number. But in this case, it's just lead on its own. So we are just going to write 207. Now, I said we are going to add. We don't minus, we don't, uh, we don't divide, we add. So you're finishing from a particular element, going over to the next element to add. Plus, sulfur, sulfur. What sulfur atomic mass? It is 32. So what becomes the molar mass of the galena? Let's add them together. Let's calculate the molar mass of galena. So it becomes 
207 plus 32, that is 239, all right? 239, and the unit of molar mass is grams per mole, all right? 239 grams per mole. So under molar mass, we're going to write 239 grams per mole, whereby gram cancels grams. So what becomes number of moles at the end? It's going to be 4 divided by 239, all right? That's 0 0.01674, all right? So the final number of moles is 0, 0.0, all right? One six seven four. What's the remaining moles? All right, we can we can we decide to write M O L or spell it in full moles, and you are correct. Are you there? What is remaining? You know that's what we are looking for. Number of moles. So you can see how questions like this have been solved without stress. There are four other formulas to show understand on how to solve number of moles. All right, and in this same lesson, we talked about other ways questions can come. When they'll give you a reaction, they'll say calculate for this, calculate for that. We've done all of them already on the topic stoichiometry. So ensure you go watch that lesson because if you don't watch it, you might find it difficult solving questions under this aspect. And it is extremely very easy. It's not difficult. So you can see how we've been able to solve this question. Let me give you guys your own. So your own now is calculate the number of moles present in, let's change the mass, all right? Present in, let's say, for uh, six grams, six grams of. Now, I'm going to change it to something else. Let's say 6 grams of cerucite. But in other exam body or other exam type of questions, most times they make it easy for you. They will just give you the compound itself. But I'm just trying to build it. Just, you know, writing the compound in words so that you as a student, you have to know so many types of compounds. All right. So 6 grams of, let's just say glucose in this case. Wow, glucose. I know. I know you know glucose, but you have to know the chemical formula of glucose. Glucose chemical formula is 6 is H12O6. Then you have to know the atomic masses of these elements involved, all right? So that you can calculate your molar mass. Carbon atomic mass is 12. Hydrogen atomic mass is 1. Oxygen atomic mass is 16. So as a student, you add all of them together, all right, with the numbers you're having for this element to get your molar mass. For carbon, it's going to be 12 times 6 plus hydrogen is 1 times 12 plus oxygen is what? 16 times 6. Add them together, you get the molar mass, then you know what to do to calculate your number of moles. All right, so that's how questions like this have been solved without stress. If you found my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my lessons to your friends. Thanks for watching.